Hey guys, today we will talk about this new Sync Prasert Bunak. Bunak comes with a team skill that gives all non-Japanese players 15%, passive is stamina killer 30%, that's one of the most annoying passives ever. Special skills are brand new dribble for Bunak and that is S ranked cow Trong step with a momentum of 465, S ranked Muay Thai tackle with a momentum of 455 and an A ranked Muay Thai intercept with a momentum of 325. Hidden skills are for all agility type players 1% and that's miserable. Stats down 3% for opponent and that's okay I guess. That's becoming more and more because eh, of all the shields that are available now. Japanese player killer. So again the Japanese players his stats go up by 10% so that's good every passive or hidden skill that raises stats is good then stamina costs down so he will need 30% less stamina when you use a special skill and when you take into account that he has 1234 stamina he will never get tired when you see at his color scaling you can see that he is a one trick pony on the attacking side with his dribble at 47 K and that's really good even for a forward and one trick pony on the defensive side with total strength of 57.5k which is great his intercept is average I guess and you will have some success with it but not much while the yellow stat on his attacking side are a very bad shot and a bad pass at 27.2k if you match up with a forward that doesn't have intercept skills that that's gonna be enough but almost anyone with any intercept skill will be able to intercept his passes. You won't be white passing anyone with that miserable raw power of 7.7k either. So mostly you will just try to dribble and tackle everyone praying nobody passes over you or nobody intercepts your pass. And to tell you the truth I can get over a defender that can't pass but I expect him to be a great all around defender and this guy isn't that. Take limited Robson for instance. He is a terrible passer, but he is at least excellent in intercept, block, and good on tackle. So that makes up for that. When his passive is active, so against the Japanese players, his dribble is even more scarier at 63k, and his tackle is awesome at 63.2k. While he gets a bump on the intercept to 47k and block at 43k. That block still isn't enough to block anyone serious and his intercept isn't good enough to intercept any serious passers. While his pass gets a bump to 30k and that still sucks so make sure you match up against a bad interceptor if you want to pass to anyone. There's a couple of points that I have to make that I think would make this guy much more valuable player than just that stamina killer annoyance. I feel like if he got 5 dribble range and hands like Michael, that would be great for transitioning the ball over to midfielders or forwards, but he didn't get that. If he got a super solidarity team skill 20% that would be awesome too, but he didn't get that either. If he gave more stats up to agility players and not only that miserable 1% and especially in this mixed meta you will not buff many players and you will not buff them by a lot either. While that stamina killer is really really annoying, when your opponent is in full power of football it will be easy to pass or 1-2 over this guy uh, and you will say whatever to that stamina killer because you are in full power of football. So for a paid only step up player that is guaranteed at a $100 price tag uh, this is a travesty and I believe none in his right mind would pay that price especially when you look at the options on the defense with agility non-Japanese players like limited Goza, Kevin Schmidt, limited Dick, Cellini, hidden ability of Iran all of them are better choices so this guy just doesn't justify his price mark but on the other side not one player can justify that price mark I would let me break him tackle speed intercept technique 25 his dribble is already OP, no need to limit break on that.
everyone who will pull on him i wish you good luck i will not if he had that uh, super solidarity 20 percent i would pull for him but i have all that uh, great defenders agility non-japanese defenders so i really don't need this guy this just doesn't work for me so i will pull though on the rafael so if you don't want to see some pullings i suggest to stop this video if you do stick around i need 50 dream balls more for the free spin if i go for more i will not have enough for that monday germany banner so that kind of scares me a little bit because i don't want to spend any money we will see how things go for a warm-up i will spin this two times give me espadas that new espadas oh oh Espadas. New espadas. Come on. Of course it's a dupe. What did what did I expect? <laughs> One more. Again, what is happening? Now give me that new espadas. Two. Oh my god. New espadas, come on. I know it's a long shot, but... No? Oh, come on, three dupes. <laughs> that, that, that's not a good start. That's not a good start at all. Now, now I'm a bit... Uh, afraid to pull to tell you the truth damn 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 let me just rip this off like a band-aid i need rafael or salinas he's my second option come on I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> now I'm not gonna get anything. I can feel it. Free Rafael. Come on, Rafael. Come on. Come on. Come on! One more. Fuck Roberto. Come on, it's about time. Come on. Come on! That's six SSRs on that banner and I didn't get Salinas nor Rafael. Six SSRs. Not one player I need. Okay, so that's basically it. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, fuck it, right? Uh, subscribe for more. Come talk with us at our Reddit, Captain Tsubasa DT. I'm kind of heartbroken a little bit here, so I I'm sorry for that. Once I went 13 months without changing my main team, and I believe another 13 months is ahead of me, and that is a little frustrating. I don't want to forget this time. I want to give a shout out to my club teammates. Fun Picards, you guys roll. Subscribe for more. Yeah, that's about it. Bye.